Hello, I'm Eskimo, and this is a demonstration of using my Circles on Curves macro in conjunction with my Match Vectors macro to make multiple copies of selected objects at locations following a curve. I have a letter E here that's already been converted to curves. I have my Circles on Curves macro set up with uh, the diameter and the distance. I'm going to check a box here for creating target vectors. And when I use create circles, what's selected afterwards is the group of 63 circles. I'm going to delete that right now. And what's left behind are the target vectors that were created at the same time as the circles were. If I open match vectors, it shows here under target vectors that it knows there are 63 target vectors. Now it's important that we have this checked to allow tagging of multiple target vectors because we want to make copies based on a single source vector and multiple target vectors. We don't have a source vector yet, but if you draw a two node line and then tag it, now we do. If I select this and use match vectors, that creates duplicates and it's oriented them and size them based on the location and size of the source vector and the location and size and orientation of all the target vectors. You might not always want things to be following along the curve in that way with the orientation changing with position. If we undid that, we still have all these contents here. We can use find to select all the target vectors and we can use this part of the macro, the vector tuner, to change the angle of those. This is blank now because there are multiple angles present among that collection. But if we changed it to zero, now they all are ori oriented at zero degrees. And if we run match vectors, it orients them all like that. If we wanted them all pointing straight up, we could find them all, set them to 90 degrees, apply, and run it again, and it's all like that. Now, the shape you're using here does not have to be aligned exactly on the source vector the way I have there. We could do it differently, do something like this, and now select it and run it and you've created things with this sort of positioning. Now because we already have this vector and all the target vectors here, we can still keep using them until we delete them. So we could also, if we wanted to add a blue ellipse, we can use that. A little yellow rectangle, do that. And they continue to work sort of like a little teleporter as long as we leave them there. When we don't need them anymore, we can find them and delete them, find them and delete them, and there you are.